Good morning and welcome back to the IJF Matside Studio here at the Nippon Budokan. It's day six of the World Championships and I'm delighted to be sitting alongside Loretta Cusack doyle and Neil Adams. Uh, we're going to start with Loretta. We're going to look at the women in the under 78 kilo category. Good morning, Loretta. Give us your picks for today. Good morning, Sheldon. And um, looking at the lineup, we've got 40 athletes in this weight category. Agura is the number one seed um, right up there in the top. She has what I would say quite an, an easy match in the first round with Ramirez um, from Portugal. So give her a steady progress right through, I think, to about the quarterfinals, where I think we've got to look out for Kuka um, from Kosovo, who's really, she's a young athlete. She's coming through very nicely, and she's upset quite a few of the odds over the over this past couple of years. So um, for me, that will be her major challenge in Pool um, A. Going down into Pool B, well, that seems to be a bit of a horrible one. We've got um, obviously topping that is Malonga, and um, really on paper she should get all the way through again to that quarterfinal stage. But I think this could be a bit of an upset there between. Powell, Natalie Powell, who got a bronze medal um, this time last year at the World Championships. So that could be, they've actually, they fought each other quite a few times. And um, for me, in fact, I think it was about 11 times they fought. And the, the scoring at the moment is Powell's just in front with, 11, with six wins to five. But the last time they did compete against each other, Malongo did win. So it'll be interesting to see who's on form here today in that weight cat in that in that pool then you go Stenhouse uh, in pool C and and again looking at that way the biggest challenge for her heading on in that pool is Opatek from, mm. from Slovenia she again is a strong athlete they fought each other in the European Games and um, Opatek won that last innings so again that's going to be a real crucial match once more that will be at the quarterfinal stage again when looking at it but there's a one or two pro dan who's at the junior world champion who again she's young she's keen and she could upset one or two of the odds here again so keep an eye out on some of the young ones and right down the bottom obviously japan's favorite hamada she's she's got to be the one that they're all looking for to hopefully take that number one place here in Japan and um, looking she's got looking at that list in Paul D there's Verkirk who's um, won two beat but um, looking at the head-to-head -head, um, Hamada has beaten her twice they've only fought twice and it's been 2 nil. so there's a possibility it's gonna be interesting some nice matches to come and let's see how it all pans out okay Neil I'm gonna ask you I know you've got the under 78 kilo category pool in front of you but we haven't got you know, a massive amount of time. I'm going to ask you to take a look at the men in the under 100 kilo uh, right. category. It'd be nice, isn't it? Uh, obviously, number one seed, Lipatiliani. Uh, number one seed coming in. He's never won a major tournament, uh, a gold medal uh, with world championships. Love to see him get there, you know, and uh, to, to, uh, to be contesting that. Uh, obviously, Cho is on the lower part of the draw. I think the lower part of the draw is probably the harder one uh, of the um, of the pool. Um, but uh, Lipatiliani, he's got uh, Idur up there in the top half, and he's possibly going to get through right the way through to the uh, quarters and semi-finals. Um, you know, he's so consistent. I think uh, Lipatiliani will the, be the main one on the top half there. I think on the bottom half here, we've got Cho, we've got Wolf. I think Wolf for me is the absolute favorite because he's the old Japan champion and and he also won the Japanese trials and also he's come on to great form. So I, I think Wolf is gonna be my main pick uh, for the uh, bottom half, but, and uh, I think that this is one of the main things here that uh, also we've got Alanas uh, who is down there with Darwish. Darwish. That's the Canadian and the Egyptian. Yes, uh, we've got Alanas who, is just a youngster coming through from Canada and he'll be on a high because of Canada are on a roll. Didn't they fight in Montreal? El Nahas and um, Darwish? Uh, I think they did and, uh, and I think that uh, Darwish uh, in fact came out the winner uh, you know and 
but he caught him he caught him straight away and i think that alan house will, will will want to get that back you know he'll want to make a fight of it and i remember i was commentating it i think and and it was over before it even began but al nahas is one for the future uh, absolutely i think al nahas uh, is going to be contesting to get through to the final against Wolf. I think Wolf will probably uh, deal with Cho, and I think that Lipitiliani will be coming through on the other side. Down in that pool of death, I'm going to call it. Yep. You've got Peter Palchik, Shadi El Nahas, Ramadan Darwish, Cyril Marey, and we haven't spoken about the Russians. They've taken yeah. a single bronze medal. And down in the bottom there, Niaz Ilyasov. Maybe this is going to rebound today and we'll get something from the Russians. Ilyasov, though, yeah. defeated Aaron Wolf in the last World Championships. And that was a major upset last year. Could we see a repeat again? D, D for death. I think that, that <laughs> fool is. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. Right, we've got uh, a couple of minutes before we get uh, underway. I, I still think we might have a, a couple of minutes or so. We, you know, Yeah, 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 we've got, we've got some time. So maybe... One who we have yet to mention, real dark horse. There's a chance for Neil. We're going to come to you next, right. but Loretta, see if you can just pull one out of the hat here in the un under 100s. You've do got you know a couple of seconds more. Yes, <laughs> I do have one. Um, uh, Katarina, the oh. Dutch boy. I'm so glad you said that. Uh, Simeon Katarina, not a bad, ba bad it's draw. It's a good lad. You and know, round three, I reckon that's where it's going to go for yes. him. Yeah. In, in Zagreb, he, he fought extremely well. He's a, a young athlete that's definitely um, on form at this moment. He's got beautiful judo. He's capable of throwing big. And I thought he was pretty unlucky um, the last um, entry we saw him. But um, when you look at the draw, it isn't, his, it isn't in his favor for a, a young athlete. You've got Choi up there, and you've also got um, Adam Wolf in the mix. It's going to be a tall order for him. There's no doubt about but if we're going to talk about major upsets, which we have actually seen, he's possibly he's capable of doing it. I, I think it's going to be a round three a difficult contest for him, and and that will be the really big one that he will have to win because he wins that. That's the quarterfinal, and then we may see him in the mix. But round three is going to be pivotal. Ilyasov, I think you hit the nail on the head there. I think he he could possibly just ruin the whole party. They haven't had a good. World Championships so far, the Russians, really, uh, you know, compared to the, the amount of depth that they've got and the amount of medals that they're getting, it's not going according to plan. So I think uh, it, it's about right for, for that to happen. But other than that, the Canadian, he's young and he's coming forward. Right, OK, let's take a look at the top four seeds in each of the two weight categories. <laughs> 